Everyone the Saiyan 2 films here with a review in the Nerf Combat Creatures Terradrome. So, as I said, and this is a review for the Terradrome, which uh, I'm in a little different filming range. I'm not at the Nerf Ball. Instead, I'm uh, on my bed. Because uh, it's a little multi terrain awesome guy is uh, awesome. And uh, I thought it would be perfect for today. So it's Saturday. I'm trying to get this done as fast as I can. Um, but yeah. So, uh, once you get this guy, I got this guy a year ago at Walmart for $70. Um, actually, I think it was more than a year ago. Almost, almost two years ago. Um, as you can tell, I haven't used him in a while. Because honestly, he's not that practical. You wouldn't use him in... Uh, Nerf War because he's really loud, unfortunately, but he he's just, he tactical, okay? Not practical, he tactical. So, uh, yeah, once you get him out of the box, there is some uh, assembly required, and you do need, if I can remember properly, six AA batteries. Yeah. Yeah, six AA batteries. Two in the back of the remote and four in the Terradrome. You have to uh, assemble the Terradrome's head, which is a uh, little nudge here with a little hole in it. Um, honestly, I'll put uh, Nerf Boy Productions unboxing and review. So he uh, explains how to assemble it, but I'll also do a little uh, a little quick idea of what you gotta do. All these uh, little joint joint thingies in here, uh, they're, they uh, come with the thing, but these uh, claws you have to assemble. And uh, the, uh, <laughs> it's kind of like a saw, real shaped uh, barrel. So there, it detaches so you can uh, reload it. So, got this really cool looking shield right here which is of course awesome uh it's got this i love the color um it's it just looks post-apocalyptic almost like the uh almost like the doom Lion series just it's almost before the doom Lions, but uh it's like almost like explosion or nuclear war or something like that you, you'd see in the the box the box has amazing art, artwork so yeah I've n I have never seen any mods to this thing <laughs> um, so I don't think it's possible to mod it but yeah it comes with 12 elite darts which is the amount it can hold has two little fl flywheels in in the uh, down here. Uh, this thing can kind of screw up a bit, but not often. Well, once you uh, learn how to insert the uh, barrel properly, it works fine. But time to time, it'll really mess you up. Uh, according to Nerf, and I haven't tried this out myself. Sorry that I've been stuttering a lot, but uh, okay, I'm a little cold, okay. So, according to Nerf, I haven't tried this out myself, but it's supposed to be multi-terrain. Okay, I've kind of tried this out. Um, it can go on like a steep hill, a uh, steep hill about like, I think I've only tested it like that. I'm going to end up having to test it like that, but four degrees of 35 degrees, not that much of a difference. Um, 
I'm not going to be streaming this day because I've done it millions of times. All I need to tell you is it's really consistent. Honestly, you could shoot the exact same place for all 12 rounds. It's, it's really consistent. The range, uh, if you were to shoot flat like this, this would be if it's on like a hill, the top of the hill. Otherwise you want to aim it upwards. No, shoot on an arc. Um, so I, uh, I used to, uh, with my previous failed YouTube channels, uh, I'd put, I'd use one Nerf gun at the shower and shoot for, uh, the other side of the hallway. But uh, with this thing, I'd put it at the front of the bathroom door, which it and it'll shoot about uh, thirty feet, which is a, which is about the minimum of a rapid strike. And yeah, good average ranges for a normal person, but uh, yeah. Honestly, there were rumors of something called an attack mid, and I was always looking forward to that. But it hasn't come out in like the two years that I've played. Like a minute, I'm like, what the heck, Asbro? Anyway, but anyway, now to uh, work this thing. Uh, there's an on off switch here, flick it on. And there's another one on a blaster, flick it on. I'll kind of go green. Reddish, then I'll go, go completely green. I'll come a little closer to the camera here. So I can, uh, so you can see a bit better. If I, uh, you know what, one second. So, yeah, I got the Terradron there, and the remote here. It's, now it looks like it's just a first person shooter thing. So, uh, press this way for it to turn that way. Wherever the head is facing, it'll go. As you can see, that way for the other direction. It can also go backwards. And, uh, is that open now? Yeah. The uh, lower button here is for the head to tilt up. About 45. Wait. Is that a 45 or a 90 degree? So about a 90 degree angle, it tilts up. And that gives it about a 30, 30 range. Keep, I'm just gonna keep it flat for now. And then the uh, top button is for it to fire. I love this gun. It's so much. Okay, it's not a gun. It's a robot. But whatever. I'll say gun. <laughs> uh, I. It's so much fun to play with. Um, I could totally uh, uh imagine hiding behind a rock, having this thing at the top of the rock, strapping a camera to the front of the shield, or right above there, like um maybe my Nerf camera, and uh, the camcorder. And uh, then uh, strap that on there, and that. and then um, then have like a little like live stream feed, looking like oh no, there's a guy coming out. You you just like poke out the other end like pew 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 with your stockade or something. But uh, yeah, it's a blast to play with. I highly recommend it if you can find it. I find it in uh, Toys R Us more than anything now but tower drum recommended so anyway that's it for this video hope you enjoyed and uh yeah